guys i hope you're all doing well um as you can see this morning i have popped out some flowers some fresh flowers i just love buying myself flowers anyway the plan for today is i am going to home sense to have a look at some of the spring stuff that uh, they have out there so i'm going to take you along with me and yeah um my sister's coming along and then in the afternoon i will show you what i've got and hopefully we find some nice spring things and then we will make some i found this really nice recipe um to make mini egg cookies so we're going to bake those together as well so i hope you guys enjoy the vlog and yeah let's get on with the video so guys we have got a little visitor on today's vlog and it's guys. emily it's me Thank again you. So we've arrived at TK Maxx slash HomeSense and we're going to look for some springy bits, yeah. baking bits, see yeah. what they have inside. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys what there is and see what we get. I can't even like look how cute this looks. Oh my goodness. so we just got back from the shop and we actually managed to find a few things in there which I oh <laughs> there's a sneak peek uh, that I'll show you when I get home but I've got some really cute Easter things so I can't wait to share those with you and yeah Emily got a little book yeah it's uh, in my bag now it's called uh, Be Kind if you want to see that you need to check out her video <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go head off back home and then I will basically show you what I got and spend the rest of our day together. Okay guys, so as you can tell I'm in my dressing gown, um, but that's because it's a little bit chilly in here and you know what, I like to be cosy so you guys should get your own dressing gown on too and we can be cosy together. So. I obviously want to show you what I got at um, TK Maxx slash HomeSense. So they had some really adorable things to the point where, you know, I wanted to buy so much more, but I just bought the things that I really know that I'm going to use. So the things that I got were this uh, four piece baking set so it's this big massive like uh, mixing jug in pink obviously because this is my staple colour um, and then I have and then on the top it's these um, little like I don't even know what you call them the spatulas that you basically mix your baking and they've got like a little picture of the bunny rabbits one in a hot air balloon and one holding balloons and then obviously you've got your whisk too underneath which I just think is adorable and I can't wait to actually use this. So that was the first thing that I picked up. Then I thought that I would get this cookie, I don't know why I can't say it, but can you see that? Cookie cutter set and you get loads of different ones. So you basically get rabbits and egg baskets and carrots and I was just thinking like I could bake some cookies with my little sister and I think that would be a really cute 
little things to do together um, before Easter or even on Easter day so I thought they were really cute and there's there was loads of these as well so definitely I think cookie cutters are really useful like you can use them for loads of things as well so that was really cute the next thing oh I just saw it and it's just so it was reduced so they had loads of stuff reduced so there's this little rabbit head now I'm not really sure what you would use this for but I'm thinking like if you put it next to the kettle you can put your teaspoon on um once you've used it and then it just stops it from going on the side so I thought that was really lovely and I just love the the pink on it it's really cute definitely my cup of tea and then I also got this big massive mug and I just love the gorgeous print on top of it and it reminds me of Peter Rabbit because obviously Peter Rabbit's sisters Flopsy Mopsy and Cotton Cottontail I think and I don't know it's just the most gorgeous mug and you get the print on both sides and it's like lilac inside which is just it's just so good and it's really big and I just think again this was supposed to be six pounds and it's four pounds so two pound off so I just yeah so these are the bits that I got I like I said I could have got so much more but I just think that just buy what I was going to use and yeah and then I'm going to make some Easter cookies so I did go and buy some mini eggs uh, I bought five packets but me being me I've already eaten one packet so I'm just gonna have to bake them with less mini eggs which is fine um, but yeah so I'm gonna show you how to make these most amazing uh, cookies as well which is quite simple and you can make them with um, if you've got little ones or if you have got a little bit of time and you want to make them for your friends like any anything really but yeah let's get on with making the cookies okay so I decided to take my dressing gown off because when we're baking we need to have our arms moving um, but yeah, here are all the ingredients. I will leave the recipe um, and the instructions down below, um, like always. But yeah, let's get baking. Okay, for the cookies, you're going to need some light brown sugar, uh, some plain flour, some uh, normal sugar, a bit of table salt, some um, butter, 230 grams at room temperature, uh, some baking powder, vanilla extract and uh, mini eggs and also some dark chocolate. So I've made a few more because I'm going to take my family some, um, but 
to kind of get them a little bit more uniformed basically what i did was get a cookie cook why can i never say this cookie cutter um and while it was still warm so fresh out the oven you just place uh, them around and spin it around and that kind of gives it more of a uniform shape and also if you put the cookies in the fridge before you bake them for about an hour it also stops them from spreading out um across the baking uh, baking tray so they are a little bit more put together and thick and also they'll be gooey inside how delicious so i made a little tiny mini one which is kind of not set yet but i thought we could try it together um even though it's kind of not set but we shall try it Mm. I can confirm that these are easy to make and taste delicious. You need to make them. Mm. Don't mind me why I finish off the rest of this cooking. So guys, that concludes the day. I hope that you guys have enjoyed spending the day with me. And yeah, I really love having you around and I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.